What's going on guys? The one and only Watercool Fool. Today we are going to be talking about the NVIDIA Shield Pro. This is going to have the 500 gig hard drive on it. So this is going to be from my experience. I would like to thank Zulu99 for creating a system image and a vendor image to allow me to run full Android Nugget on my Shield device as well as keeping all the features of NVIDIA such as allowing me to have NVIDIA games and allowing me to stream, do instant replay, allow to pretty much have all the same features that I would on the NVIDIA Shield that it came with but instead I have the full Android Nougat. Now this right here, let me go ahead and lower my camera a little bit better. So here, this is going to be the HAL launcher. Now this is more of the Android TV style that you would get with the Android um, Shield right here, or NVIDIA Shield here, as like the, like I'm gonna say stock. This more or less is what it's gonna look like. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit B, the time's way off and everything. But here we go, I have a little dark theme here. And I installed Torp on the recovery here for the 500 gig. It's not really recommended because I guess there were some kind of issues for this device, but with the official Torp um, release, which is going to be Foster uh, 3 uh, decimal 1, decimal 1, TAC 1, or 3 period 1, however you want to say it, you're allowed to do this. There's also an application that you can get from the Google Play Store, and from there, all you have to do is go to that APK over here, install it. And then from there, I doubt you'll be able to read it, but at the top it's going to say Torp Flash Backup Existing Recovery Network Statistics. Now, what you would want to do is click Backup Existing Recovery. I didn't do that because I felt pretty confident in what I was doing and that I was going to have success. Do as I say, not as I do. Anything right here that you do will void your warranty. Just Remember that, I'm also going to put that in the description below, it's going to void your warranty, I'm going to have all the instructions of what I did to complete the installation of Android uh, 7.0, aka Nougat. Also Android um, O, aka Oreo, will be coming to the Shield device eventually, so maybe Zulu99 might be able to work his magic to get it to work on here and have a full Android operating ex operating system experience. Alright, let's get to it. So what we want to do, okay, let's talk about some stupid stuff. So here, this is what you can do, is do Torp Flash. From there, you would select your device. It might be able to zoom up so you guys can see it. Da -da -da. Maybe, yes, no, maybe, let me slowly raise it up. Okay, you're going to have select device, select a file to flash. Before you select a file to flash, make sure you have Mozilla or Chrome installed or any web browser that you want to use. When you select your device, it's going to take you automatically to the Torp website and it's going to go there and give you an option on how you want to download it or what kind of file you want to download. Download that file, come back here select the file to flash, it's going to be in your download folder and then from there it will flash your recovery image on your device or you could sideload it actually if you want to as well so once you have that all installed what you can do is go over here, it's going to be this guy over here, official twerp app to the left of it, it's going to be the three white lines and then to the right let me see I'm not sure if I'll be able to get to it but you have a gear over here. I don't know if that's clickable or not. But you want to go to that guy right here, official Torp app. Select that. You're going to have Torp Flash. I'm pretty much more or less repeating what I just said. So we're going to go down to where it says Reboot. And it is going to be a faint dark line that's darker than the rest. You're going to select that. From there, it is going to give you the option at the bottom. Let me go ahead. Let me see if I can get that in the camera, right about there. And it's going to say Reboot Recovery, Reboot System. So what we're wanting to do is select Reboot Recovery. Do you want to? There we go. Hit OK. 
So let me go ahead and back out so you can see the image. And then I'm going to zoom in a little bit more into the TV. All right, it's going to have the NVIDIA logo. And then from there, you should see your Team Win Recovery Project. And here you go. As I said before, it is going to be three period one, period one, tack one, and now you can install anything you want pretty much with this within reason. Now I am going to get my uh, mouse by Asus. I highly recommend having a mouse and keyboard when you're connecting or installing anything like this or you, and just because it just makes it that much easier. Sorry I'm getting a little tongue-tied, but now I'll get to show you that this does have like pretty much all the features. I can go to install, install any item that I want, install an image, go back. I could do wipe right here, do more or less a factory reset. I can do an advanced wipe if I want. So I can go do that. Now I'll go back again. All right, now we could do a backup if I wanted to. We could do a restore from a backup if we wanted to. We can mount a system, storage, whatever you want. Then from there we have settings. And then we would have advanced right here. So this is where you could sideload everything, um, which says in the instructions. Um, more or less you might have a little easier time doing it via the 16 gig. Uh, NVIDIA Shield, but with the 500 gig, it took forever for the ADB side loop. So what I did is I installed SuperSU onto the um, USB 32 gig after I wiped the Davic and cache via this program, and then I installed it, and it found it easier than doing the side load. So that's what I did. So then you have, um, let's see what else settings I'm not sure if I went through that then we have reboot we're gonna to go to reboot so you can do power off recovery bootloader and system on the left so what we're gonna do is click on system it's gonna reboot the system and then from there we should be able to boot into the full Android Nougat operating system so it'll take a couple of seconds and then after that once it reboots fully I will show you that I still have the same functions as I would with a normal shield device via if it was stock again anything as I said or may not have said this completely voids the warranty of your Nvidia shield please ensure you know what you're doing you are taking the risk yourself and it is not my fault if you make a big mistake and completely break your shield device there are plenty of people on the XD forums that have stated that they have made a mistake and now they have a bricked Nvidia shield and um, I can't wait for Android O to come out. It's supposed to come out slash be released to your phones. Um, think sometime at the end of the year. So we might be able to get Android O, but I want Zulu's version of Android O so I could still have the full Android experience and be rooted and everything like that. So now we are booted in. So what I'm going to do for bringing up the NVIDIA settings or selection, whatever you want to say. Right underneath the right thumbstick, right below it, click the circle, hold it for a couple of seconds. And now I have instant replay, record, broadcast, screenshot. This right here will be the settings for the, let me see if I can select that. So I could do Twitch settings here, change quality, instant replay, last mic volume, adjust layout if I want. So just, and then of course chat right here if I want to see it and select the microphone. All right guys, that is going to conclude this video. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, remember to subscribe, click that like button. Also remember to hit the bell icon below to see when I upload a video. Thank you guys and remember, always have a great day now.